This is Jeff Richmond Mall. I'm the curator of American Art at the Georgia Museum of Art. And I'm standing here in our America in the 1930s gallery in the permanent collection. Uh, this is a gallery that we just reinstalled at the end of February as part of a longer gradual reinstallation that we're doing throughout our permanent collection over the next few years. And I wanted to share with you uh, in addition to the gallery that we made as we were rehanging this, this section. Um, this painting by Francis Chris is um, untitled, but it has an alternate title of Indian Relics. And it's a still life painting that shows different indigenous uh, ceremonial ritual objects. You have a um, Northwest Coast uh, shaker in the shape of an orca. You have this wedding vase from the Southwest uh, Pueblo uh, pottery form. The horn here likely represents uh, a raw material to be crafted uh, by uh, a, a native craftsperson into one of these objects. Uh, so you have kind of different regions represented, different material cultures of Native American ceremonial and, and ritual and daily life. Uh, all assembled together, even the textile is, is part of this whole constellation of objects. Um, Chris's painting, in, in one sense, seems to be celebrating the, the craftsmanship of indigenous peoples here. At the same time, it is a, a kind of assemblage in the form of a collection. These are, in coming from different regions, they show that some collector has brought them together. And so um, I wanted to acknowledge that fact, but I also wanted to pair this painting with something, uh, with, with an object from a, a, a tribal group not represented in the painting. Uh, the Southeast is, is really not present, and given our collection's rich holdings in Cherokee baskets, I thought I would feature a, a new acquisition, uh, a basket by Rowena Bradley, which just entered our collection. It's a double weave basket from 1997, and it's, uh, a, it's a double weave river cane. Uh, the motif is a flowing water motif. Uh, it's just a beautifully crafted object. By pairing these two works together, uh, I wanted to, first of all, just more generally in this gallery, try to bring together decorative arts and, and paintings in a, in a more integrated fashion. And we do that in other ways with a, with a colonial revival table that I brought in to pair with a, a 1930s uh, painting by Philip Evergood. Uh, here, uh, a similar effort. I also wanted to bring the basket in uh, to kind of reckon with the absence, as I said, of Southeastern Native cultures from the painting. Uh, but I also wanted to bring it in because I thought it would be an opportunity to show that these are not, as Francis Chris's title suggests, these are not relics. These are objects that are vital. They, uh, they are part of much longer uh, traditions over many, many generations and centuries passed down from one to the next. And the basket itself represents the kind of living nature of, of Native American material culture. Um, the fact that it is a flowing water motif, I think adds to the kind of vitality of the basket, that it is connected to nature, to the environment, and to a kind of uh, living dynamic exchange between humans and the natural world. And uh, the, the material of river cane, the fact that it's, so, it's woven so tightly to suggest it could even hold water, all these things show this kind of living dynamic relationship between the object and the world between the object and much longer traditions, um, and I think do so in a way that really help us uh, expand the kind of story we can tell about Chris's painting in the process.